Hey guys, it's Phantom here today, and I actually want to have pretty much a discussion topic where after finding out that Bleach will be ending in a couple of chapters actually, and pretty much we are going to have kind of a new era of anime. I want to just kind of talk talk about what this was and what do I mean by a new era of anime. So, all I got to say is another one of the big three is ending, and it's Bleach. Um, hey, one of the big four is ending, which... You know, freaking Bleach and Naruto has ended, and um, all we got now was One Piece, which I'm not really into One Piece myself, but I'm glad that it's, you know, keeping the era of current Shonen alive. But um, all I really have to say is that this era, it's been a crazy one, and it's been ups and downs, and the first thing I want to talk about is what Bleach means to me. Now, I've probably gotten to Bleach the most untraditional of ways. Um, as a child, I believe I was either 9 or 10, I pretty much loved Japanese music. That was, that was another thing that kind of got into me after hearing multiple anime openings. I eventually just, like, I fell in love with, like, Bleach's first opening. I was like, well, I mean, if the opening is this cool, maybe the series is this cool. I watched it, and I freaking loved it from the start. What made it different from most shonen was it, it was in the modern day's time naruto was set in what i believe is kind of in the past but kind of in a primitive time and dragon ball was set way into the future but when it came to bleak it was set in the modern time and what you couldn't really see with that they had real high school problems at the same time and having normal problems as well and it was something cool to see and not just that the characters were always interesting rukia being one of my favorite characters was probably my you know was Basically, what everybody would suggest was probably a good character. Ichigo was funny as hell, and he was like, he was a shonen character that was more relatable than Naruto and um, Goku in a way, mainly because he was the modern day teenager. And by the way, this video is not gonna have a lot of editing. It truly won't. Heck, it probably would just have a picture plastered right there of all of the big four together. And yeah, so basically, as I'm getting through more of Bleach, Bleach was definitely a huge anime impact. Now, you know, when it came to Bleach, anime was amazing. Then I was old enough to know, I felt like I could read the manga. Let me get into the manga. And I was reading the manga, each, I wouldn't say they were drastically different, but there were some changes I didn't understand. But, you know, my favorite arc coming from Bleach was, of course, the Iran car arc, which everybody says is rushed because of Aizen. And to be honest, Aizen is one of my favorite anime villains to date. Come on, man. Like, he's pretty much one of those villains that he choreographs everything he does. He makes. He's a smart, well thought of villain, which I can give Taite Kubo some props from. Now, the new villain, Watcher. I don't even know how to pronounce his name because I stopped reading the manga after the um, Thousand Year Blood War arc. It was. I don't know, just villains, to me, was also a huge thing when it came to anime. And, you know, seeing that Bleach can handle them very well, you know, I loved it. Now, the only thing I really have anything bad to say about Bleach was filler, but, you know, you can get kind of get over that. Like, you can just watch some of the fillers and find them enjoyable when it came to the anime. Like, if you've read, not read, if you've watched some of the fillers, you will find yourself generally enjoying it. I believe the Katakuta Town Superheroes was probably one of my favorite ones as a kid. Um, I believe, what else? There was, uh, there was the Halloween one. I remember this one. Cause they were like, basically they were all like little Frankenstein monsters and vampires and all that stuff. And it was really cool seeing that Ichigo was a Frankenstein monster. And like, it kind of made reference to the manga. Cause to be honest, Ichigo, when it comes to the Quincy, a hollow, uh, Soul Reaper, uh, Full Bringer, uh, just about everything in a book when it came to that series. And the reason why, because I don't even know, it was like after I read into the manga and I was reading more into all the things he supposedly is, I was like, I'm so done with this manga because there's like too many things he's. He just was too many things. Like that was when the manga went downhill when they, when they tried to say it was so many things. Um, but you know, as I was slowly kind of. After the Blood War, Thousand Year Blood War arc, I was pretty much out of Bleach, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I just kind of got out of it, mainly because I just felt like they were doing too much, and, you know, seeing Bleach ending the way it's going to end, and from what I'm reading from all the reviews and all that, I'm everybody just saying they're rushing it, and I'm not saying that it should slow down and that it shouldn't end, I, would just, I just think maybe they should pace it out a little better, 
because from what I'm hearing, we only have a month left, like, of this, um, you watch Saga, and, like, heck, bleep, from what I hear, that Ichigo broke his tense, um, his, um, Zanpak toe, shattering it on the final villain, and the final villain is kind of a badass, from what I'm saying, like, this guy is overpowered, and, Jesus Christ, I can't wait to see, like, I might actually go back and read most of this arc, so I might be deadly confused, because I did skip a lot of shit from Bleach. Um, that was another thing that happened with the anime that I did kind of skip around. Um, my first real experience with Bleach was in Nintendo DS games as well. Um, I remember, like, I had no idea what Bleach was when I was younger. I was even younger than 10, I think I was 8 or 7, and, um, I had got Bleach the game, and I was like, I, I don't know these characters, but I want to learn them. And all you can remember was having an emotional attack with the Chad. Chad was always an interesting person to me. Chad was definitely a character that, you know, if you're new to the series, you're going to get into, you're going to love this character. But, um, heck, I feel like I've rambled on five minutes, six minutes probably of Bleach. And now I want to talk about this new era of anime. So basically, the big six, and I'm saying the big six that I'm thinking of, well, yeah, I'm including Dragon Ball is in here, Yu Yu Hakusho, well, those two are over. Dragon Ball Super, yeah, that's a continuation of the series, but like, the original Dragon Ball Z, that was kind of done and over with, but now we're in Dragon Ball Super, but that's been revived, so, yeah. Um, the, you know, Naruto is definitely over, but they had the Boruto manga, and let's face it, do you, like, after reading about three chapters, though, because I went back and I read the third chapter, and I read them, like, this isn't going to be a good review, because if I review this, it's going to be the biggest rant on my channel, and I'm probably going to get so much hate and backlash just from everybody, you know, coming out of nowhere and saying, oh, well, he doesn't like the manga, and he doesn't like Naruto. No, I love Naruto, and I love Boruto as a character. Just stop giving up the last as a fucking manga adaptation. And I understand they're getting that from Dragon Ball Super, but with Dragon Ball Super, they actually worked on the art. There were no issues with characters, and not just that. When Dragon Ball Super didn't give us one amazing thing, then the rest went to shit. Like, <sighs> I, I really wish I could get into more of the Boruto manga because it's like, hell, the fucking, it just, it's not drawn or written right. It is, I am sorry, you, the creator of the Boruto manga will have nothing on Mizashi Kishimoto's original work. That gets it so much, but Naruto is done with, and Bleach is done with. And all we have is One Piece keeping the shonen, modern day shonen alive. And the reason I'm saying that is because, like, we, we're getting into a new era. And we're going to have a new big three at one point. A new big four or whatever you want. Whatever big number you want to see. We're going to have a new version of that. And I really, I'm curious on which ones we're going to get. Like, I really hope that we get a series that can at least compare to these other series. That I've grown up with, and, you know, I've grown in love with, and as I sit here and I'm like reviewing animes and you know reading chapter reviews, I remember Naruto was my first. If you go back on my old channel, actually don't go back on there. I pretty much got rid of all the videos, but back on the Phantom Network Nine channel, Naruto built this cha built my channel. It basically was like, okay, we're gonna give you some stepping stones to build it on. And I remember doing chapter reviews and like just showing them to my friends saying, Hey, well I wrote the chapter review, I sat down, I read the chapter, I fucking loved the chapter, I found the series amazing. And I'll admit my first copyright strike was involved with Naruto. And <laughs> I was mad in the beginning, but I kinda got over that. But heck, that's just saying something. And as I sit here and I'm reviewing Dragon Ball Super, I'm feeling like how I felt when I was younger, back when I you know the rhythm of Dragon Ball Z used to come on, I was so happy. And it's like I want an anime to where I can say, well, my kids, when I have kids, eventually, I don't know, probably not. In the future, I'll give it about 10 years that they'll be able to say, oh, well, we have anime similar to yours, and, like, I'm having debates with them. That I, I just want to have an anime era that, you know, basically where we have a new era to where I can say, this anime is amazing, this anime is amazing, this is the next big three. This is the next big three. And... Trust me, some animes I do hope will become the next big three, like My Hero Academia, and Jesus Christ, my tooth is hurting, I'm sorry, guys, but, um, My Hero Academia, I want freaking One Punch Man to become that, I want, I want any anime that is like that to become the big three, 
the pretty big shonen. Now you guys know I review more than shonen on here. I review shoujo and all sorts of other manga, even romance romance mangas and the anime and all that. And I'm trying to, you know, broaden my horizon, you know, because I don't want to be just a shonen channel. But here's the thing is that I love all sorts of different genres of anime. And when it comes to that, it's basically, you know, I find so much enjoyment in any anime to where, heck, even most people be like, well, why do you watch this? It's not action-oriented. You wonder why? Because I don't find it boring, and the thing is, I'm not close-minded about it. But, um, all I'm really hoping that the Big Six become popular. I'm really hoping that we get another Big Six that would, like, you know, you're having debates about it. About which story is better, which this is better. Like, I really hope we get that in this new era of anime in Hell, I don't know how long this video is going to be right now, because I think we're on a 10 minutes and 49 second mark, 10.50 now. But, um, heck, I don't know, I'm basically going to just close this out by saying I'm, I'm kind of glad that Bleach is ending, and, you know, I really hope that they, like, kind of slow it down and don't rush this, because Bleach, Bleach, you mean a lot to a lot of people's hearts, and especially to mine, considering this was another manga that, you know, I just picked up and read and loved in another anime series. I just loved and watched since it came out of Dose Women and, you know, having... I do have high expectations for the ending. I didn't like the way the anime ended, and I really hope they will get probably a continuation of the anime somehow. Probably not. Probably like how Inuyasha had, um, Inuyasha the final act. I hope we get something similar to that with Bleach, but probably not because the merchandise sells and all that crap. I want to get into that, but, um... All I have to say is Type Day Cubo has blood. That's what it's worked before. Um, I can't wait to see what other work that is. Just can't wait to see what other thing that this anime future holds. I really can't wait to see what we have in store for us next. So until then, I guess I'll say peace out, guys.